It's my favorite. I've been listening to it for like the past 48 hours. So here's the larger one and then here's the small one. I put it up for longer, so we're putting it up today. So right when I saw these little mugs, Hi and welcome back to another vlog. I'm about to head out and run some errands but I wanted to go ahead and start off this weekend in my life. I wanted to quickly share my outfit before I get in the car and I'll explain more about the couple of errands that I'm gonna be running today. I was originally wearing like a winter looking outfit. I had like a cute Sherpa pullover and some leggings on but it has now become 70 degrees outside instead of the 50 degree weather that I woke up to. So I changed. I'm wearing this Set Active onesie and I just got it in. I know it's kind of hard to tell because it's black, but fits really good. It's the Sport Body Collection, which I believe I have one Set Active set that is the Sport Body Collection. My favorite is the Sculpt Flex, but I got this little onesie and they run really small so I sized up to a small instead of the normal extra small I feel like their sport body collection runs small all over and then I'm wearing this Amazon men's button-up flannel over top of it I'm wearing it in a size large so it covers my butt and then I'm wearing the Boston suede Birkenstocks with some little high ankle socks and then I'm going to be carrying this Lululemon Sherpa belt bag. So I'm going to go bring all the stuff that I need to do down to the car. I'm going to run a ton of errands and um, I'll explain more once I get into the car. Okay, we're in the car now. I made a little bit of a list of things that I have to get done and packed my car full with everything that I need to do. But um, first things first, I'm gonna get a pair of Lululemon leggings hemmed. There's a Lululemon on Park Ave, so I don't have to go all the way to the mall today, which is good. And I got their wide leg leggings. And since I'm 5'2", they just, they're way too long. Like I would trip over them. I was influenced on getting these from Wesley Ann Singleton and she also does YouTube and um, I follow her on Instagram. She originally commented, I think, on my Breville Barista Touch video, and that's how I found her, and I'm so glad that she commented because I truly enjoy watching her content. She's so relatable, realistic. I truly love her content, and I feel like in this day and age, it's important to obviously watch people that you love to watch, and she just gives off such good vibes and great energy, and I also feel like I don't talk about other content creators that I watch and I love 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 her channel um, I also follow her on Instagram and she posted a picture of these leggings and I was like running to go get them because she looks so cute in them she has such great style just I'm sure you guys would absolutely love her channel so I'm gonna link her channel down below so I was influenced um, from her to buy these yeah so I'm gonna go get these hemmed I need to return two Amazon packages. So I'm gonna take those to the UPS store. I need to take some clothes to Plato's closet. I'm gonna drop off the Friendsgiving stuff that my dad let me borrow to his house. And I also wanna get a tree topper from Target and potentially like some ornaments to add to our tree. But that is the stuff that I have to get done today. I wanted to get it all done. Today, instead of tomorrow, we're gonna decorate our Christmas tree tonight, put out um, our Christmas decorations. We don't really have any, but we have like little things. So we're gonna be doing that today, and I'm excited. Next week is Thanksgiving, so um, I wanted to get the tree up this weekend. I wanted it up for longer, so we're putting it up today, and I'm excited. So that's what's going on today. Let's get this. Let's get this stuff done. I'm also listening to a Christmas album. My favorite Christmas album is Michael Buble, the Christmas um, album that he has. And it's my favorite. I've been listening to it for like the past 48 hours nonstop and I love it. <laughs> Okay, 
it's been a little bit i took my leggings to lululemon they should be done in a week and then i'll go pick them up uh took the stuff to the ups store to return took my stuff to plato's closet and they should be done in like probably like 30 minutes or 20 minutes now and now i'm just about to leave my dad's house from dropping off the stuff that i borrowed for friendsgiving and there is a target by his house and i might go to that target it's not the target that i usually go to and i just want to i need to look for a tree topper i have a bow that i created like two years ago and I didn't create it well and we've just been using it for the past two years. I grew up on bows in my household on trees. Let me know what you guys grew up on. If you guys grew up on bows on the top of trees or tree toppers. And I think this year I'm gonna look for a tree topper at Target to put on top of the tree. Unless they have bows that are cute to put on there. Um, so I wanna go look at that stuff. I think the Target Christmas selection at this Target is better and bigger than the one by my apartment so hopefully i find some good stuff <laughs> running all my errands. I picked up my clothes from Plato's Closet that they didn't take after I went to Target and I got some really good stuff from Target that I'm excited about. So I'm gonna share it with you guys. First, I got some more ornaments. I got gold ones that are, we have silver ornaments. Our apartment is very much gray and silver toned but I kind of wanted to mix in some gold ones. It's stemming from the fact that the tree toppers that they had in the silver tones, I didn't like any of them. So I thought it'd be fun to mix in tones. I got this star gold tree topper and I think what influenced me is the little photo down here has silver ornaments. So, and I mix gold and silver all the time, like my rings are gold and silver. So I thought that would be fun to kind of mix in some gold ornaments into the tree. So that's for the tree. I almost bought stockings, but I held myself back because it just would have gotten really expensive if I did that. Next, I got these. So I did one round of Christmas decor shopping a few weeks ago in a vlog you guys saw what I picked up and I picked up a vase and I thought this would be good to put in the vase I got three of them I know that a lot of targets have these so if I needed a fourth one I can go pick it up but I think three is enough so I got those this next one I'm really excited about um, we have the large one of this it's the little wax tree with a timer and I mentioned it a few vlogs ago where we had it last year and you can set it on a timer and when it gets dark outside, it lights up automatically. So we have the larger one here. I'll go and grab it. So here's the larger one and then here's the small one. I didn't expect them to have them again this year, but I went to a different Target this time and I saw this and I was like, is that a candle? Because I saw it in white. I was like, is that a candle? And then I saw that it said wax tree with timer and I was like, oh. and then I looked underneath some things and I found a small little green one. So I thought it'd be so cute to match. I didn't expect them to have it again this year. So I'm excited. I'll try and find it and link it down below. Um, they also have it in white, like I mentioned, but, and then I got this little tray. I thought it'd be cute to put this on the tray, maybe like over by the oven area with like a little candle or something to have it in another spot because i put this big tree on the center island and like on that tray that we have with a candle so i thought it'd be cute to have this one in another spot or we can just put them next to each other thought that'd be cute too but i got this for just like decor purposes and then another one of these um forest fir candles the small ones that are like five dollars to put on this little tray too with the tree. Thought that would be cute. This smells really good. I know I raved about them a few vlogs ago, like I said. It smells really good and it's pretty affordable, $5. 
And then lastly, so right when I saw these little mugs, I don't know what it was about them. They were $4.99. They were so inexpensive, but I thought these were so cute for some reason. And they say cozy at the bottom. And every year I usually get some type of holiday mug. And I decided to pick up two of these because I love them. They had another pattern as well, but I loved the reindeers on it. I thought it was so cute. Just a little fun mug for coffee in the morning so that's the haul um we'll probably we're gonna i'm gonna make some food right now really quick and then we'll probably start decorating this is the vase that i was talking about that i got a few weeks ago so i'm gonna put these in there I'm, i think i'm gonna have to cut them because they're kind of really long so i'm gonna cut them with scissors and assemble them in here i had it on the coffee table I don't know if that will block the view of the TV, so we'll figure it out. finished tree we had a little bit of difficulty with the star because the star is so heavy and the top of the tree isn't that sturdy so you can't tell from the front that there's that much of the tree hanging out the back but it looks really good I don't think you can really tell that there's a lot of mixed of the ornaments but I think it looks really good and then of course we always just put a blanket around the bottom just one of these white blankets i think we got it from target like this is our third christmas with it so we just keep it in a basket by the tv and then <laughs> put it as the the tree skirt for the christmas tree and then you guys saw this i made a little instagram story for it too of me swapping everything out i just put this on timer so that way it will turn off on its own and then turn back on on its own and then over here i put the little the other little tree and then the candle and then these pumpkins i just put over here because i'm gonna bring them to my dad's for thanksgiving next week for a little decor for the table just to have i'm really sad to get rid of these they're so cute and i can't believe i've had these since the middle of september and they're not rotted or gross or anything so they held up really well and they were under a dollar from trader joe's and then i showed this earlier and i think it turned out really well so we're gonna go we were gonna cook dinner but we're gonna go grab some dinner now don't know where but we'll figure it out
It's in the 50s today and it's really rainy outside. I've been editing a video today and I updated my Amazon storefront with some of my recent purchases. Anyways, I'm heading to the grocery store to pick up some groceries for the week. I am not meal prepping this week because it's Thanksgiving week and I'm gonna be vlogging um, Thursday and Friday. I'm probably gonna create two separate vlogs this next weekend just to get more content. But um, yeah, I'm heading to the grocery. We're gonna do sandwiches, I think, for the week. And yeah. back from the bank and the grocery store I put all my groceries away cut up my pineapple cleaned up a little bit and now I'm about to switch out some of my mugs and cups for my holiday ones and put it in the cabinet so I'm gonna do that right now I'm really excited to use my holiday cups again I'm gonna put them in this main cabinet I don't know which ones I'm going to switch out for them but we'll figure it out i keep them all i just put these here for right now but i keep them all back there so figure it out probably just gonna take out a few of these down here because they're mainly all mugs but let's do that now I know there's not a lot of them but I really wanted them out in this main cabinet so I could see them and use them and then once the Christmas season is done I'll put them back in here but I'll quickly go through and share where they're from just in case you guys are interested these ones over here I don't know if you can tell with the lighting they are little snowmen and they're from anthropology I shared them in my last vlog and they are little cocktail glasses but I Definitely will probably be using them for coffee as well, like iced coffee. But I thought they were so cute and I got two of them. They also had Santa Claus ones, but I really did love the snowmen. These two, you probably can already tell they're from Starbucks. This one, I believe, is from last year and the one behind mm -hmm. it is from, I think, the year before. They're just little candy cane handle glasses i think starbucks does a twist on this every year but it could be wrong at least the past two years they have you can see how they're a little bit different this one is from anthropology it has like a little christmas tree in the center of it they also had i think a snowman in the center and a candy cane but this is from a few christmases ago i did get this off of poshmark so you could probably look there and try and find some of these glasses on there as well. And then this one I got yesterday, the other one's in the dishwasher, but it's from Target and they are so affordable, $5. So I'm excited to have those out for the season. to take off my makeup and get in the shower and relax and get ready for work tomorrow it's only a three-day week so it's gonna go by really quick and then I'm gonna pick up the camera on Thursday and 
vlog Thanksgiving and probably Thursday and Friday for you guys and then probably a weekend vlog depending on how much content I get from Thursday and Friday. So make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys on Thursday.